everyone this is lily rose welcome to my channel and today i'll do a psychic drawing for you guys um we had the live this weekend we had valentine's day i hope you guys had fun um it was great i want to thank you all for your love and we'll bring you some more next month okay all right and uh, don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll try to bring you the best that i can Okay, so psychic drawing. What is a psychic drawing? Basically, I have no idea what I'm going to draw. I just start drawing. I just let the pen move. It's kind of like the automatic writing, but it's a drawing. I myself, I'm not like the best artist in the world, so don't judge my drawings. All I look for is the hidden symbol in them, okay? Uh, we also have um, one of our coaches doing, um, one of our psychic coaches. She is doing psychic paintings. And so if you want to know more about the psychic paintings, you can look in the description below. All right. So let's see what we have here for the DM this week. And we started the DM with the purple color. So purple is all about the third eye. You know, this kind of like purplish indigo. Third eye uh, chakra. And so there's some sort of awakening going on as soon as we start the drawing with this color. Okay. Uh, we see that the line here is more to the left so more logical thinking and then we'll look for the df after okay let's just start drawing four symbols here for the dm so this is just to get an idea of what is going to happen this week for the dm so what as i usually tell you guys um when i'm drawing the spirit spirit tells me what it is sometimes before I finish the drawing. So they're saying this is a shed. And this one, for some reason, even though it's kind of strange, is an axe. This is what they just said. Okay. So sometimes, you know, I have, um, I have people that I am doing, um, psychic coaching with and uh one of them told me that uh when she uh, basically tries to do the psychic drawing she gets the image before she even starts drawing so this can um this can happen as well it's kind of like a gateway to opening your third eye Ooh, this is the first time i'm drawing this one tv a tv screen Okay. All right. So it's like, okay. All right. So for the DM, let's go into the interpretation right here. So um, basically why I do psychic drawings is because it's kind of like tarot cards. Tarot cards started off with symbols and then we have the numbers and we have all these different things that we find in the tarot cards. And a lot of spirituality is based on symbols. So in the same way, I'm using symbols here. It's like I just made four different cards right here, you know, four different amateur cards. And I'm going to interpret these symbols to see what's um, going to happen for the DM this week. So for the DM, we have a shed. And as I said, I can interpret these symbols one way and you can interpret them the other way as well. So the shed for me is like the basic needs. Uh, his basic needs are going to be met. met. So it seems like whatever financial or spiritual help or uh, anything to do with a relationship, these needs are going to be met this week. So it seems like he'll be okay. Um, nothing major going to happen. No major transformation. But um, definitely uh, the DM is going to be satisfied with what he has. So it seems like maybe he's doing some gratitude this week, saying thanks to the universe for what he has and, you know, being content with what he has. So whatever um, monetary situation he is in or whatever um, health situation he is in, uh, the DM is going to be okay and be satisfied with that. He's like, okay, I don't want anything worse. <laughs> and if you have something better for me, that's great, but I don't want anything worse. It's fine like this. Uh, we have an ax right here. So it seems like he will be taking some serious action. You know, uh, for a long time, the DM has been uh, postponing things, putting them off, 
doubting himself. And we see here that it's time to take action and action with spirit. It seems like spirit is pushing him to take that action. So in his dreams, uh, maybe he's seen some sort of flash. Uh, maybe some someone told him a message, something like this. So he's going to take action on that. So it's all about the spiritual for the DM this week. We see that indigo color right here. So he's going to be taking action on a lot of things. So it seems like administrative stuff in the relationship, uh, moving towards the DF a little bit more, cutting off ties with the comics, etc., etc. And we have the TV. The TV is um, a very special symbol because, uh, you know, it, it didn't exist in um, medieval times, right? So the TV here would be the reflection of your life. So uh, people from a long time ago, maybe they would look into a lake or they will look into some sort of um, ice to kind of uh, stare at themselves and get images, right? So here we are staring at a TV and we're looking at all life pass us by. So it's like the DM this week will be looking back on his life uh, and reminiscing or maybe regretting some things, maybe thinking that he has to forgive some people, or maybe he has to ask for forgiveness from some people. So a lot of self-searching and figuring out things going on this week for the DM, okay? He will be doing a lot of that, okay? Introspection here. And it seems like someone will be mirroring his um, energies so that he will have that eureka moment where he will say, oh my gosh, that is how I was with the DF. Oh my gosh, this is how I am at work. I can't believe it. I need to change. So there seems to be some progress here. All right. So the hair, the hair at the end, people ask me for dream interpretations a lot. And for the dream interpretations, every time someone says hair, the hair is usually all about, you know, creativity, wisdom, um, anything to do with psychic ability, paranormal activity, all of that. So when we see the hair and the hair is quite wild hair, it's kind of curly and nice, so it makes me think of his um, interaction with his ancestors and also that he is growing spiritually, even if it's slow, it is, he is growing spiritually and coming into his own identity here. So the DM is actually making a lot of progress and uh, you will probably notice it this week because he will be um, uh, showing signs of someone who is a little bit more awakened. Okay, so that was it for the DM. Uh, let's just do a little tarot cards on that I'm just going to cover them with three cards and we have some cards jumping out here okay three cards for the DM here all right so we have the knight of cups upside down we have the ace of pentacles right side up and we have the knight of swords okay so all this DM energy flowing around very good okay so basically the Knight of Cups, uh, you know, it's upside down. So it seems like he is still, you know, looking for his romantic side. He's a bit hesitant still, you know, trying to improve um, his more, his creative side, his um, seductive side, all of that. So he's working on himself in that way. OK, and uh, it definitely has to do with um anything at his job as well because it seems like they probably told him that he has to work on some sort of either marketing strategy or some sort of uh, publicity uh, and this is why he needs to work on um, his creative side so something creative he has some sort of creative project that he has to work on here uh, and this is going to bring him some new income uh, probably next week but right now it's in the it's in the uh, beginning stages it's not um it's not elaborated yet, so uh, he's just trying to muster up all the creativity that he can find and his um, seductive side as well. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords upside down as well. And so the Knight of Swords is basically someone who is making, you know, a, a, a lifestyle change and stuff like that. So we see that he is making slow progress, okay? So um, it seems like uh, he's struggling a bit. But as we said, it's slowly but surely he's going to get there. Um, so any little progress is good for the DM. So this, uh, these three cards right here, I feel that they were mostly talking about his career. And um, he has a lot of spirituality, a lot of um, paranormal stuff going on in the background. 
And this will probably help him to improve, improve his job and his career as well, because we see that he was struggling with his creativity and with his self-confidence and all of that um, at his job. Okay, so they're just giving us a little bit of insight in what is going on with the DM here. All right, so let us go on to the DF. And we see the DF is in blue, so this is the throat chakra. The DF has to do a lot of communication this week, a lot of throat chakra healing, get that secret out, get your message heard, and, um, you know, balance out that throat chakra. Okay, so it's all about communication for the DF. Let's do the first drawing here for her. Okay, so it almost looks like the same thing, but this one is not. They're saying it's just a box. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so it started off as one thing and then it turned into something else. Okay, so this is a bag, a handbag. Okay, so we have a lot of different things here. Very interesting. Okay, and we have a kite. Oh, the DF drawing is going really fast. What is this DF? What is this? This one is Let's cross that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still asking what this one is. Okay. All right. So they just told me it's very strange, but it's like a saddle, a horse saddle. All right. So that's the first time I'm drawing that one. So this is why it took so long. Okay. All right. So the DF here, all about communication. So it seems like she had put her own self in a box in the beginning. Um, she was like, I'm like this. I should be like that. This is my life, etc., etc. Um, with my, um, accomplishments with my certificates with my uh degrees i only do this and so now um what the universe is telling the df right here for this week is that okay you put yourself in a box it seems like you probably need to look outside of the box and see yourself in a different angle you are not this box you are also outside of the box okay and so if you see yourself as outside of the box as well then you will be able to transcend and transform and manifest. And they're saying here also, I feel like this handbag is really full of stuff. And they're saying you need to cleanse, protect, okay? Cleanse and protect because this handbag is too full of trauma, too full of hate, too full of like um, regret, doubts. Your bag is full. We need to release this, okay? So let go of some of the things in this bag. A meditation that you can do is like go into the bag, imagine the bag, go into the bag and just take out stuff, you know, just throw them in the bin, take them out. All right. And protect yourself, of course, before you do this meditation. All right. So the handbag is a symbol of emotional baggage as well. Um, let me know what the handbag could mean for you guys. It can also mean um, something to do with like career and stuff. But here I feel it's baggage. Okay. We have the kite. So a kite uh, is all about well, not really freedom, but we do see the kite like flying in the air, but it's attached to a string. So it's like um, some sort of limited freedom. So you're finally setting yourself free. You're flying like a kite. Uh, and we know in that Mary Poppins song, let's go fly a kite. Let's go let our dreams out of the bag and let it fly. So it's like you're finally letting your dreams have a chance. So this is what I feel this symbol is all about here. Okay. So you're finally doing it, you transformed it into a kite and, so, and soon I feel it's going to become like a nice butterfly or a bird or a dove and you're going to just fly uh, and make uh, all these dreams that you had finally come true because it's like you had these dreams and you put them to the side for a while and then now you're just coming back to them, okay? So uh, this is a really, really good symbol for the DF right here. Okay, and let's see the horse saddle. So the horse saddle... 
for me, it's all about that expression. When you fall off of the horse, you have to get back on as soon as possible. Don't wait because that trauma stays, right? So a lot of you uh, DFs out there, you fell off the saddle. You fell off those uh, toxic relationships, those relationships where the DM or that other guy or uh, it could be a female as well, were, um, you know, not treating you really well. And so um, you kind of resistant, you put up that heart wall and it's not doing you any good because you're like not trusting that other person, right? You're not giving that new person a chance. So what they're saying is get back on that saddle. Give that person a chance. It's not their fault that you had trauma in your past. They, they probably had trauma too. So why are you excluding them from this chance and this opportunity to know you, to get to know you more, to get to be accepted into your heart. So break down that heart wall if you have to do some therapy for it, if you have to, you know, do that meditation and all that work. Try to get it done because um, it's not fair to just judge someone who is trying to come in and say, oh, that person is like my ex, okay? Um, that would not be fair. Would you like the other person to do that to you? No. So let us try to be fair and get back on that saddle. Even if we do have some past trauma, it doesn't mean we're going to be dumb and like accept uh, invitations from anyone that just passes by. It's just that we're going to give people a chance. Okay. Uh, so I feel that the DF right here, it's all about getting back in the game, getting back in the game, making your dreams come true. Those that came on the, were on the side for a while, coming out of the box, letting go of baggage and, um, you know, getting back on track. And I feel this is very positive for them. So let us see three cards for the DF here. For any further guidance. Okay. So my psychic drawing for this week. Let's see. DF. All right. So the DF, it seems like what they're saying here. Is since we had we had the wheel of fortune upside down, it feels like um, you thought that you were in a negative spiral and things couldn't go your way at all. Okay, you thought that you could never come out of this hole. Maybe in a little bit of depression or some sort of you're feeling stuck. Okay, and like everything was going bad for you, and so you were in this uh, phase for a while, and now you're finally getting um, some sort of ease out of it. Okay. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles upside down as well. So the Knight of Pentacles, basically, you know, it's something about learning to be organized, learning to, um, to do the work and be determined and plan in advance. It's all about the practical things you have to do to make that dream come true, that kite. Okay, so normally this is a good card, but since it's upside down right here, it just means that you have to work on this a little bit more. That organization, that planning, that determination, okay? Uh, if you need a coach for that, uh, get one. Um, or if you need like an accountability buddy, get that person as well. Go into a group and, you know, let people um, motivate you as well. All right, so then we have the Tree of Cups here. And the Tree of Cups is all about friendships, collaboration, and support. So they're saying if you can find like support groups online or offline, this can really help you to get back on that saddle, okay? It's, um, sometimes it's hard to get back, um, get your life back on track, and uh, these support groups will be of a big, big help to you, okay? It could be in the form of a network. It could be in the form of like a YouTube channel like mine's where we have a soul sisterhood uh, and when you join my channel, that kind of stuff. Uh, whatever you find for yourself, all that other social media or in real life, whatever works for you, that is great. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that today, and I'm going to wish you all a very good day. Love and light to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.